Jim Holly, Supercross Live on SupercrossOnline.com. Well, this kid here, he finished up 10th last weekend in Atlanta, Shane Sewell. Not your best, though. You've had an eighth before, but the, the best for the team. I'm talking Shea Racing, Violation Goggles. Those guys have been around. This is their second year, and you were able to give them a top 10. Yep. Uh, Brian Story has been working really hard on the motors and suspension. That's SMS Racing. That guy's uh, he's awesome. And Tim, the owner, he's been busting his butt, too. So to get a, you know, a tenth isn't the greatest finish, but uh, it's a step in the right direction. I feel like it's a good vibe in the pits with the team now, and I hope uh, just keep learning every weekend. I got to ask you how you did it because I got to go back a couple weeks ago at the opener. You didn't make it. Uh, you got in that last chance race. I watched you. You got a bad start. You worked up and finished, but you just didn't make it. How did you get in last week? Um, the start. You know, I got myself out of uh, all the mess really in the qualifier, and I just did my thing. And six laps is uh, six laps to get over quickly. You know, and uh, you start behind all those fast guys. There's no way to really catch them. And uh, you got to stay up in the first turn, too. You know, in Arlington, I crashed, got cleaned out, and uh, hope to avoid all the madness and keep getting good starts. You mentioned those starts, but what else is it uh, that you think uh, that possibly can get you in that top five that you have to improve on? Um, just mental confidence. I got to be confident in myself for that to happen, and uh, I believe we're going in the right direction. It's just uh, it's a progress, and I think we're going to be getting there close. Some of the other uh, teammates of yours, I know last week you were the only rider, but some of your guys are coming back this week. Does that help you? Um, it'll be a little easier vibe in the pits instead of having that big 18-wheeler there just for me. But um, I like it. I like the pressure, and uh, nothing really changes mentally. Just hope to have a better time on the weekend now. You having a good time with the KTM and everything? Oh, yeah, the KTM has been awesome. I haven't really ridden much of them, and uh, this year has been a first for me. And Brian can build one heck of a KTM, so... Uh, I'm just fine with the bike. The bike's competitive, and uh, I just got to work on myself now.